Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 2nd, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the last 48 hours. We do have an M-class solar flare that was just detected, but will not be in these images. Yesterday, we had the M-class solar flare, so back-to-back M-class solar flares, most likely from the same outgoing region. Incoming Earth-to-scale here visuals. We do have a pretty big sunspot region cresting right now. That bright side and as well plasma filament just ripped from the southwest region of our sun. Looking at outgoing, we still have that large solar prominence spinning around. And then active sunspot region on the left-hand side there. Pretty sure that's where the M-class solar flare was, but no images just yet. Still early in reports. This is the region I'm talking about. As well, plasma filament from the southwest region right here, lifting off in the last few images. Multi-spectrum showing here all of the events and as well, the coronal hole, which is now Earth-facing and perfect equatorial region. Here's a glance at our last M-class solar flare that was from the sunspot in the northeast region. Expecting a space weather event the next 36 to 48 hours from that CME. Glancing blow. Solar X-ray flux hopping back down into a C range after belting out the M-class solar flare. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity we're sitting at KP2, real-time solar wind, 511 kilometers per second right now. Let's just get back down to the last 24 hours. We've seen quite a wave of activity, space weather. Highest today being 535 kilometers per second. ISWA space prediction spiral, not showing any new CMEs, but for those who don't know, That little yellow planet is Earth and all the cosmic energy from the sun on its way. Having a look at Alaska 3, see me taking off from the southwest region of the sun. That was yesterday. And then no new events to show here into March 2nd. Just amazing images here brought to you by SOHO and Solar Dynamics Observatory, NASA, NOAA. Schumann resonance for today, high power of 47. Look at that zap earlier today, right around one or two o'clock. Amplitude of 47, quality 8.8, power 25. Now let's get to earthquakes. Yesterday we were up over above average. Today we're below average, but we saw a very large earthquake, 6.5 rocking port, Olroy, Vanuatu, That was this morning, followed by some pretty sizable 5.4s, 5.0 magnitudes. Solomon Islands just north of there and Fiji Islands rocking a 514 kilometer depth earthquake, 4.7. Papua New Guinea seeing activity today and west straight up into Indonesia and Philippines. 5.4 there reported yesterday, Marianas Trench. And we're still seeing activity 4.9 moving northward to Shimado, Japan, and then Shikotan, Russia. So the west, west ring of fire is really acting up right now. Even an interesting earthquake there, 4.0 Lei, Vietnam. Rarely ever report earthquakes there. Western Xinjiang, China. And as well, 3.4 Turkey. No larger earthquakes or aftershocks following any more today. South Georgia Islands, 5.2 earthquake. Too quiet at South America. Too quiet Caribbean plate. 5.7 rocking San Pedro, Mexico early this morning as well. So two sizable earthquakes today. And La Esperanza, 4.6. So lots of activity bouncing between the west and the central uh, 
Pacific Plate across the U.S., largest being a 3.4 at the geysers, but the swarm has slowed down. We are well under 160 earthquakes the past 24-hour period, according to USGS, and this is the last seven days for earthquakes across the world. Notable, all of the activity, West Pacific Plate. And to be expected, as forewarned here with daily events worldwide, the deep earthquakes from a few days ago, and as well all the pressure from the space weather events that we've seen this past week, I'm surprised we have not seen more. Growing concerns there, South Sandwich Islands into the Antarctic plate. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. If you live in an earthquake zone, have a go bag ready and be ready. Having a look here, world weather, we still have quite a big snowstorm that is developing out of Texas, heading into Ontario for tomorrow night. As well, we've got a system off the coast there affecting the Atlantic provinces the next 24 hours. It's going to be an extreme weather event all across the central and southeastern U.S., Gulf states. This is going to be a vicious storm, everybody. Heads up and be ready. Across Ontario, you could see upwards of 20 to 30 centimeters of snow, at least a foot in coastal regions of Lake Erie and Ontario. And then watch as that affects northeastern regions of the United States. But it's going to be a very windy event. The storm is supposed to come in right around the dinner hours tomorrow night, Friday, March 3rd. And then it will continue all night long into Saturday with continued flurries. Looking at the West Coast, low pressure system off the coast there is going to stall for the next few days, affecting the Pacific Northwest and as well BC. But looking at the long range forecast, you've got an atmospheric river here developing yet again, heading up into BC. Snowstorm and upsloping snows through Alberta. Quick look here at temperature forecast for the next couple of weeks here, right up until the 16th. Winter far from over as the polar vortex will be slipping down towards the middle of the month there, minus 33 degrees Celsius in parts of Manitoba, northern Ontario. Overlooking South America, Heavy rains to continue through Argentina over the next couple days, but clearing out. Daily evaporation rains. Nothing major to talk about there. And then we've got the same thing playing out here in the Atlantic as the Pacific atmosphere river of moisture will be developing in the long range forecast here following the trade winds. Huge low pressure system there through the North Atlantic. And then watch for all of the moisture and low pressure systems to start penetrating Portugal and northward up, to, up into the UK and then settling into Central Europe, ushering out any high pressure ridge that was around. You've got a wet week ahead of you across Central Europe and the United Kingdom. Still same forecast for Tropical Cyclone Freddy bouncing back and forth between Africa and Madagascar. Overlooking tropical cyclones that are not really affecting mankind right now, but they are off the island, the islands of the, uh, Caledonia and as well as Solomon Islands. Big low pressure system over North Australia. A quick look here at the forecast lows and moisture heading up into. Alaska this week, and as well the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Atmospheric river penetrating in the long range forecast. It's going to be a lot of rain and a lot of snow towards Alaska. And continuing snowfall through Sierra Nevadas, California over the next few days. Strong system here, long range forecast heading up into the Atlantic provinces and the east coast of the United States. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's update. Keeping humanity aware and prepared. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. 
and get your daily dupe. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.